it's time for us to go find Ogman and root out Talos worship as the Thalmor wanted. If by root out Talos worship you mean give the Altmer incorrect information, then yes. We'll let him know he's not worshiping Talos. He's worshiping uh, Tyber Septim. It's different. Careful, these Dwemer locks are very complex. Oh, you did it! Oh, oh, is there evidence in here? Evidence that he's a cannibal! No, uh, he was just cutting a hole in the gourd because the priestesses of Diabella wouldn't let him in. <laughs> oh, cross! <laughs> hmm. Yep, there definitely seems to be a child's doll, some clothes, some gold, and uh, I don't know what that is, but that clearly isn't a thing. Hey, Thalmor! If you see any signs of Talos worship, it's your obligation to report them to me. Nice clipping. Hey, we found no amulets in anyone's house. Goodbye! Hang on, hang on, wait, wait, wait. I found this amulet. It's covered in ricin. You should definitely hold on to it. I didn't know he was gonna lick it. How was I supposed to know that? I don't know who we're killing this giant for, but we're killing a giant. Uh, what was that? What? But, oh, it fell down the hill. <laughs> Dragon's bones are up. It's a dead dragon. Fell down the hill. Someone should pick up all these dragon bones. Don't look at me, I'm not doing it, they're heavy. We're just gonna go, we're gonna go full power and just elemental both, both hands. It's not the death of the giant that's exciting, it's the many ways in which we can kill it. I was gonna say it's more of the fact that I'm gonna get launched into space. I'm gonna go into space and I'm gonna see one of the stars, which apparently are, I don't know, they're like a god's butthole or something? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that, that, just, like, hang on. Oh, jeez. That was all right. That was overkill, but, you know, whatever. The thing is, I'll say, like, some, some like, made-up, out-of-pocket shit that doesn't make any sense, and then somebody is just like, Oh, yeah, no, that's true. That's true in Elder Scrolls. That's absolutely true. All the trees in Elder Scrolls are actually mushrooms. And they were all sprouted by Lorcott himself on his birthday. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to kill his woolly friends. Well, we'll kill the giant and then run away as fast as we can. Good idea. Eat shit. Eventually, eat several doses of shit. They are no longer a problem. We got him. We could get warm by that big fire. Wolf sword. Is that a sword made out of wolves? Oh, it's kind of cool looking, actually. Yeah, might need to temper it. Doesn't look very sharp, though. Hey, you could fix that, Mr. Blacksmith. Yeah, you could level up your blacksmithing skill. I think my blacksmithing skill is maxed out, dude. Does that ever max out? Is there a cap? Well, uh, in, in Elder Scrolls lore, yes, there is. There's actually a point where you cannot learn anything else about blacksmithing and you become the ultimate blacksmith. Ooh, yeah. why haven't you done that yet? Uh, well, because it does involve, you have to find the previous ultimate blacksmith and you have to cut off his head. Oh, there can only be one. Yeah, there's Highlander gonna be a, rules. You gotta wait until the quickening and then you gotta cut off the dude's head. You know, it's, it's, it's a whole thing. There's a reason that most blacksmiths don't do it. It's kind of a pain in the ass. And the neck! It's a pain in the neck! Yeah. <laughs> You'll have to settle be for being second best. Yeah. There's an unlimited amount of second best blacksmiths. <laughs> there's no there's no cap on second best blacksmiths. I see. There is a cap on best blacksmith, though. <laughs> well, the giant is dead. Is Did we do that for anybody in particular? Is that no, a, I don't know. Was that a request? In oh, for Win and Winhelm! What the... We did a quest for Yorleaf and Windhelm. Why did it take us so long to do this one? Because <laughs> we had other things that were more interesting. Man, I'm just constantly getting distracted with stuff. That's Skyrim, baby. My head heart don't work right anymore. Head heart, eh? Yeah, that's what that's what the that's what the brain is called. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, hello, hello. Take hey, oh. a piss of the tree line. Storm cloaks, gross. <laughs> Why do you have the training dummy right next to where the door is that people? Ingress and egress from constantly. Well, they don't use this dummy for target practice. They bought them in bulk and had some left over, so this is a, just a scarecrow. Well, then put a helmet on it for something. Come on, jeez, dude. Or maybe not a scarecrow. Maybe they populate the town with them to make the city seem more interesting. Oh, you know what I just realized? Because this is Stormcloak territory, they're using these as dummy voters. 
Oh. They're just using these people to vote for uh, the Ulfric. Yeah. Yeah, they're just like, which I know, I know it's not. I know it's not actually based on voting. I know it's not based on voting, but we're, it's <laughs> yeah. just a bit. We're doing a bit. Yeah, I, I, they're doing it. They're doing it to vote. They're getting extra votes for Ulfric. They're like, oh, yes, my Nana, who has been dead for 15 years. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, that's another vote for Ulfric's Storm Club. In fact, too, because she's been so well behaved lately. Yes, she's been so good. We'll have a vote twice. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom, but people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? I don't know how this dude can yeah, talk anymore. His throat is so full of gravel, I don't know how it hasn't turned into concrete. Lord Ulfric, where are the drugs going? Where are the other drugs going? Well put. Swear to me! I'm if you have any news of the Western Holds, take it to Ulfric immediately. I forgot that we were doing this for the Stormcloaks, and now I wish I hadn't done it. <laughs> it's a public service, not really for them. I, yeah, we're I just guess, getting paid. I hey, guess. I'm happy to deplete their war chest. All right, that's fair. Yeah, bad, the the giant's dead. I'm here for the bounty. It was a lot of work. You know, I probably should get paid like double, quadruple, trip. No, septuple the bounty. Here is your reward. A hundred gold for that? That was. <sighs> Travel safely. It's dangerous out there. Hey. Speak with Garmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. So how goes the war? We should take your march. It'll be an important pressure point on the Imperials. We'd be within spitting distance of the capital. You know what would really send a message? If you march there naked, if you can defeat them naked, no one's gonna stand against you. Yeah, you should totally do that. You know what else? You know what else would really send a message? They'd be so intimidated if you did this. If you gave all of your money to the Dunmer in the Grey Quarter, I bet, I bet that, I bet that would really intimidate everybody. And they'd be inspired to fight for you. Yeah, they, they would. They would do that. They would do that. And um, let's see, what else? What else? If you would stop being such a racist fuckhead. Well, he's not a racist. He represents a bunch of racist people. Oh, he's definitely a racist. Only to appeal to the rubes. Okay, why'd you kill the High King? I killed Torek to prove our wretched condition. How is the High King supposed to be the defender of Skyrim if he can't even defend himself? I did it to prove a point. I'm not very smart. And what about his widow? Wouldn't she claim the throne? Indeed. Elisif has become Yarl of Solitude. Historically and conveniently home of the High King backed by Imperial interests. But the Moot has not yet met the Namer High Queen. And they won't. Not as long as I have any say in it. That sounds like a Moot point. <laughs> well, so you want to be the High King, huh? There hasn't been a true High King in Skyrim for generations. For too long, he's been hand-picked by the Emperor and given emphatic nods by milk-drinking Jarls addicted to Imperial coin. It's time we had a real High King, one of our own making. Okay, bye. Keep your brother, and he'll keep you. I don't have a brother. I don't know what you're talking about. I probably should wait until we're outside of uh, Guard's earshot to say this, but I don't like Ulfric very much. I know you're not a fan. Yeah, don't really care for him. I don't think you much care for any of these racist Nords. I don't know why he puts all of the Dunmer into the Grey Quarter. That's really mean and horrible, and uh, he shouldn't do that. Well, some would say they like it there, because the alternative is the sewers. I wouldn't say that. Racists would. Everyone says Jorland Greymane is the best smith in Skyrim. I plan to change a few minds about that. Yeah, warming good business for you. Are you a war profiteer? I don't see these troubles as business. This is a labor of honor. To bring Ulfric his rightful glory, I would hammer a thousand shields. Shore's bones. I might just have to. I. Alright, what are we doing? Uh, I believe we haven't done everything in Dawnstar. Ah, Dawnstar. It's nighttime. Why is it nighttime? Because that's how time works. We should go to the inn and rest up. All right, I'm going to sleep. Need a room? Don't worry. Nightmares don't seem to happen for travelers. They don't happen anymore, thanks to us. I'll show you to your room. 
Right this I mean, clearly way. Clearly they're still happening, so we gotta do it over again, but... No! Stop showing me to the main bed! Oh my god! We want a crappy small room! Yeah, I want the stupid small room! I don't want to sleep in your bed! It's gross, and you never change the hay! What book is this? Cabin in the Woods? Is this the really crappy, uh, like, like, horror book that, like, everyone says is amazing, but really isn't that good? I don't, if you want to read through it, you can find out. It's a horror book, but- Oh no, the stoner was also a virgin too! Oh no, they're both the final girl! Oh wow, oh maybe, maybe, maybe instead of- Just to divert expectations, we should let the horrible entity win for once! What a stupid fucking movie. <laughs> Never- It's a book, not a movie! I don't like the movie Cabin in the Woods, I think it's dumb! Okay. <laughs> I, I think it's really overrated. I was wondering, father, maybe you should take a day off and head into town. I could watch the end while you're away. Why would I do that? There's work to be done here. Can I It'll sleep? Please, get out of my Maybe room! you could visit Ergnir or Fruki on your way out. I've seen them looking at you when they come in for drinks. Why would they be looking at me? <laughs> Are they upset about the service? <laughs> I don't know why, it's, it's a oh, top tier. Mind. Are you staying here so that you can tuck me in? Is that what's going on? <laughs> my mind was just somewhere else. Do you need a room? Drink? I do need a room. You gave me the room. There's no door to it. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> I thought you wake up to a courier standing over your bed. Hey, I got a letter for you. I got something I'm supposed to help deliver. Your hands away. <laughs> it's crailing. You're rocking you to bed. <laughs> so, I know you don't much care for... See what? That was a blind guy over there. Is he blind or is he just... Doing, he's just having a giggle. Um, I I think he might be a wounded veteran. Did you ever have to fight off bandits, Frida? Hey, like in your story. Hey, if you're really blind. Why I once fought alongside you. You wouldn't be able to do this. We were both younger. Save uh, oh, you hit my hand. Cool <laughs> yes, sir. I'm being really mean to this guy. I don't even know who the hell he is. Hey. As if it wasn't bad enough, I was lame. One day I woke up in the morning, and suddenly, my vision was gone. Great. What's next? Death? We do kill on request. Dawnstar. A cold and sad place. I dreamed one day of seeing Cyrodiil with my own eyes. But now... Whatever. I can't see shit. Oh. I feel kind of bad for this guy now. Here, man, have some, have some stolen cheese. I can no longer work on the farm. Father, Luckily... I am so amused at the end. No, well, what do you what do you do? I think I could. I'm sure she would want you to be happy, father. Entertaining the guests and drinking and making your lewd jokes like before. Yes. I'm sorry. Do, why does she I want him to make lewd jokes? Sorry if your father seems a bit now. distracted. A lot happened. Father, won't you tell some more racist mm. jokes? <laughs> oh, I've got a really good one about the Dunmer. <laughs> I know you don't care the fuck for was that about yes? the Dunmer. <laughs> I know you don't much care for singing bards and all that, but if you haven't heard this girl sing, she does a really amazing rendition of Ragnar the Red. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear anything. Hi. I envy you, travelers. Dreams aren't affecting anyone not from here. Uh, song please! Sure. What can I do for you? Uh, Rag Ragnar the Red, please. Ah, uh, a fine but bloody tale. I can do that one. I drop a coin into the cleavage like it's a jukebox. <laughs> get, gotta get to her preferred singing spot. Oh, she's gotta go stand up there and everyone's gonna watch her sing. Okay. Yeah, everyone knows how good she is. We're all gathered around. All right, I'm ready. Oh, there once was a hero named Ragnar the Red who came riding to Whiterun from old Warwick's dead. And the braggart did swagger and brandish his blade as he told of both battles and gold he had made. What's going on? I can't, I can't see. Where's the table? Then he went quiet, did Ragnar the Red, when he met the shield maiden Matilda, who said... I wish I were deaf, too. Oh, you talk and you lie and you drink, I'll arm me. Now I think it's high time that you lie down and bleed. <laughs> and so then came clashing and slashing of steel as the brave last Matilda charged in full of zeal. Yay! And the braggart named Ragnar was boastful no more when his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. Encore! Bravo! Oh, thanks. I'm 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 good. I'm good. That was that was 
It was world class. We need to get you some better music. I, uh, the class was F. It was F class. Be careful. My bad luck is so great that it will infect you too. I'm just going to ignore what's going on in that room. <laughs> Maybe this... Look at Khajiit Caravan! Yeah. Hi. So many refuse to talk to us. They call us thieves and smugglers. I am glad to see that you are not such a one. Well, we haven't talked to you yet. There's still time for us to call you thief. What do you got for sale? Take a look. If you have skooma in there, I'm going to call you a thief and a smuggler. I told you it's a thief and smuggler! Well, maybe maybe just smuggler. Just smuggler. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. If I can sell you stolen goods, then you're also a thief. I'll, also, I will take one of those skooma, please. Yeah, I don't really want any of that. You gotta... What the heck is a cork bulb arrow? <laughs> Never even heard of that. You made that up. That's not a real thing. The legendary cork bulb arrows of Akatrash. They use them as non-lethal for when they are fighting civil unrest. <laughs> Your trouble with the locals? Mostly, it is the Nords. They do not like outsiders in their land. And so we are forbidden to enter their cities. When they look upon us, they see only pickpockets and skooma dealers. It is most unfair. But we do our best to ignore them. And we do sell skooma. <laughs> May your road lead you to warm sands. Have fun with your, uh, with your trade caravan. Hope you guys are having a, having a fun time. Uh, clearly you're not, because you're out here and not in the city. But you know what? The fresh air might be good. Speaking of fresh air being good, you are going to do drugs. You suddenly realize that being out of breath is just a state of mind. Ah, infinite stamina? Pretty much infinite stamina. I can just run forever. I got so much energy. Oh my god, I have so much energy! I have all the energy in the world. I can sprint forever! I can sprint for days! Look how fast I can sprint! And they're reforming the Dawn God. Vampire hunters Guard, look at this! Look, watch. Look, 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 look what I can do. Look what I can do. And I can talk the entire time I'm doing this. Can you ever seen anyone else that can do this? No, you haven't because I am the only one. I'm the coolest one. I can swim. You want to watch me swim all the way to the other side of that lake? I can do it. I'll do it. Swimming! You think Are you watching? Are you watching? Fish! And I can catch a fish while I'm doing it. You might want to not be in the water once that wears off. Fish! Because I can swim forever! You might have a... Uh, Swimming forever! Swimming to the island, that's what I'm doing. Okay. Pretty bad when it comes down. <laughs> I can swim, I can swim for as, well, as far and as long as I want. I can swim forever. Woo! Swimming forever! <sighs> I'm, I've, I've got the worst fucking headache right now. So, could have some hair of the dog that bit you, of course. Oh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This was a mistake. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and get to the get to the end here. Your ancestors wouldn't want this, Silas. Why should I hide from it? This is my family's legacy. It's the past. Dead oaths on dead lips. Let it stay there. The museum is opening, Medina. So you got a thing going open here? What's up? What's going on? And here comes my first visitor. Um, the Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Oh, oh the, 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 the what now? Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Let's talk inside. I don't like where this is going. Uh, okay. Check out your museum. Feel free to look around. Come talk to me when you're ready to discuss that job I mentioned. This is just your house, man. <laughs> this is just like... The tapestries hung here and outside were found in hideouts, where members of the Mythic Dawn would meet and plot. The cult's greatest accomplishment was the assassination of the Septim Dynasty and the opening of the Oblivion Gates. Goodness, that's not a good thing. You don't want that. Wait, why are you celebrating these folks? I, I think it's more of just like an interest in them. Oh, but... okay, yeah. That burned paper is all that remains of the fabled Mysterium Xarxes, the blasphemous book written by Merun's Dagon himself. The what now? It's said that Mankar Cameron used the book to open a portal to a paradise. 
where all his followers would live forever. Did they all get their own planet? Ah, yes. That scabbard. That's a scabbard. Notice the insignia? It's an oblivion gate. An oblivion gate. A key symbol of Merun's Dagon. I said it before the you did. patron Daedra of the Mythic Dawn. If I come over here, are you just like, that's just my bed? <laughs> Why are you looking at it? Stop looking at my bed. Those are carrots. They're that's just... where I cry as I chop my carrots. Ah, these are evil carrots, huh? No, those are just normal carrots. <laughs> I don't know why you would think that. Is the bread evil? Well, the bread does have carrots in it, but those aren't necessarily <laughs> God, evil. Who puts bread in their carrots? Merun as Dagon did. Did you have any questions about the museum? Or would you rather talk business? Why did you open this museum? It's definitely not your house. Dude, like, my private collection of just weird shit is bigger than this. It's no secret that my family were once members of the Mythic Dawn. One of my forefathers was even chosen to assassinate Uriel Septim himself. Patrick Stewart? We no! hid from our past for years, became tradesmen, people of coin and influence. But I realized that the Mythic Dawn's importance, our importance, to history cannot be denied. I'll see everyone in Tamriel remember that for a moment, we held the fate of the world in our hands, for good or ill. All anyone ever remembers is the 700 people that died at the hands of Jim Jones. They never remember how much work he did for his local community. And he did such a great job making that flavor aid taste so delicious! I mean, he didn't personally do that, they just added a bunch of sugar to it. <laughs> at gunpoint. <laughs> yeah. So what the hell is the Mythic Dawn call? They were worshippers of Merun's Dagon, the Daedric Lord of Destruction and Change. The Mythic Dawn killed Uriel Septim VII and his heirs, triggering the events that led to the Oblivion Crisis when the Daedra invaded Tamriel. All that remains of the infamous cult, I've gathered in my museum. Against my better judgment, let's talk about this job you want done. After the Oblivion Crisis, a number of groups cropped up dedicated to wiping out the remnants of the Mythic Dawn. One of these groups found Merun's Razor, the artifact of Dagon. They split it into three fragments and pledged to keep them apart forever. That was almost a hundred and fifty years ago, and the pieces are still being kept by the descendants of that group, and they're right here, in Skyrim. At least two of the owners, Gonzal and Draskua, are dangerous marauders. Dracula! And the third owner, Yorgi. Dracula! I only know he lives in Morthal. Here are my notes about them. I'll gladly pay you for getting the pieces any way you can. No questions asked. Aha! Uh -huh. Tell me more about the razor. Well, it's used for shaving. The razor is Merun's Dagon's personal artifact. It has always heralded bloody change and carnage. It's held many names. Dagger of the Final Wounds, Bane of the Righteous, the Kingslayer. The Mythic Dawn worshipped Dagon as a god. Having his razor would be invaluable to my collection. You're filleting that sword. Remember to tickle the hilt. Good luck finding the fragments. Alright, alright. So we're gonna go find this salmon that I'm gonna catch. Salmon! What do you face? <laughs> I actually got it! I can't believe Why it! Why don't you catch us dinner while you're in there? He already caught one! I feel like a bear! <laughs> Damn, that mouse got some high fidelity, holy shit. <laughs> Maybe this humble lumberjack has information! Unless it's about the meal. I don't have time to talk. Too much to do. Did you seem upset about something? The world's going mad, and our Jarl does what? She hides inside with her visions. We need a leader, not some mystic. Wh whatever. I'm looking for pieces of Maroon's razor. Don't know what you're talking about, stranger. I well, there's a crazy guy in Dawnstore that says otherwise. I've heard of him. My father had suspicions about his connection to the mythic Dawn. M mythic. Guess they were true. Mythic. I don't need this. My family wasted eight generations keeping that razor safe from a dead cult. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. Best leave the past buried, I say. Yep, best leave it buried. Best leave it buried in your house, where it is. And it would definitely won't disappear from there. Yep, behind an impenetrable lock, I assume. Yeah. <laughs>
You're not supposed to be here. Oh, what? The what? Oh, hi. 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 I'm hi. I'm not going to warn you again. Get out. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. So, I guess they're not a dual income family. Ah, here I thought they were dinks. <laughs> Don't they have a mask that makes me invisible? Got a mask for bartering. Bull's bullshit. I don't have a mask that makes me invisible. I have one more plan. I have one more plan. Kill his wife. The wound! Mike, I can't move. I froze time, but I can't move. I also cannot move. Oh, this was a mistake. You wanna Zawaru do us back? Yeah, can we? How do I... What's the JoJo move that undoes it? I think you just wait a few seconds. Okay. But. It's an anime, so a couple seconds lasts a few minutes. Oh, fuck. We're gonna be here for six episodes, aren't we? Okay, alright. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to talk to him about the thing. Alright. I guess I wanna go in there and take care of her. Yeah, you could. No, we Satisfy won't Satisfy her we'll... Oh, yeah. You're, you're... Oh, dude, what? Hey. Hmm? Stop chopping wood and talk to us. As far as I care, I can stay locked in my house. Okay, then you won't miss it. I don't care, but my ancestors do. You can't have it. Damn your ancestors! It sounds like this mill's not doing so hot. What with the Jarl not paying attention to your needs. Sexually. And monetarily. So how about we pay you for the hilt? Divines know the mill could use some new blades. All right. It's yours. Here's the keys. Thank you. Also, let your woman know that we're not gonna steal anything else, so she doesn't accost us. I'll just wave the key around <laughs> when I come in and be like, I have the key! It's fine, I have the key! If somebody came into my house when I wasn't home and started waving my keys around and screaming at my wife that it's fine, I have the key, she would probably kill them. <laughs> With her bare hands! <laughs> She's crazy! Yeah. That's why I love her! <laughs> you lost? Nope, I'm not lost. I'm supposed to be here waving the key around! Look, I have it, I have it! The hilt of Merudes de Gon! Yes, we have it. Hi, how are you doing? You must be one of those wizards from the college in Winterhold. We're awfully friendly now. <laughs> Her husband vouched for us. He just shouted and she could hear him through the fucking <laughs> slat walls because they don't insulate their homes! <laughs> you have a hard time getting supplies way out here? Well, sometimes, but that's not the problem. I just often don't have much to do, so I tend to try things out. They don't usually work, but I try. Next thing I know, I've used up most of my stock. You're following the grand cooking tradition of mixing shit together to see what works, and usually coming up with stuff that doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. So, can you train Zack in alchemy? He hates the alchemy system in this game, and it's not gonna level up otherwise. Yeah, this is the only way it's ever gonna do anything. I think I can teach you a thing or two. Great! Alchemy raises 22! Thank you! Goodbye! All right, then. All right, then. <laughs> Raccoon, you got... She's sick. Get, she's it, get out, let's go, let's go! <laughs> I don't... I... <laughs> it's just like, my brain has been permanently scarred. If I hear someone coughing, I immediately, like, turn and walk in the other direction now. It's just like... Yeah, she has COVID-03 for third era. Oh, uh, yeah. Wouldn't it be E3? Oh, rest in peace, E3. I'm so sad we can't go to that games conference. I'll, I'll miss you. Not that we're ever going to, because we're not journalists. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. What's Fort Snowhawk? I know I'm getting distracted again, but I want to know what Fort Snowhawk is. Well, it's on the way to the next couple pieces. And by that I mean it's not even remotely in the direction, but whatever. Well, I want to see what Fort Snowhawk is. Snow... <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking talk anymore. I want to see what Fort Snowhawk is. And I want to see what Fort Snowcock is. I am an agent of the smart blue cat created to bring amusement and delight. Are you are you a Warhammer 40k orc and you're a creation of one of the one of the brain boys? <laughs>